what Anthem developer discusses their time working on the game with Kataku. Kataku has published a story that collects the experiences of 19 developers that were involved in the development of BioWare's latest release Anthem, in some way, working through what many of those devs describe as a rocky development, plagued by issues from the start. Dissecting a major release like this is rarely as cut on the drive as what went wrong. But still some of the anecdotes shared by the anonymous developers interviewed for this story offer a look at how issues encountered in different parts of development can wear on a team and affect the work they set out to do. Some of the early issues by aware developers say hit the game main sound familiar to fellow game developers, and simply came from investing significant time and work into ideas that, once implemented, were not actually that fun. Flying on traversal were changed several times. Because of this, changes that required more changes to the level design each time, and procedural encounters were eventually scrapped because the game was super reliant on this procedural system that just was not fun. In some cases, devs say the internal issues with these frostbite engine soft out features are made them more difficult to implement since the in-house engine had not been designed with those in mind. According to one developer interviewed, part of the trouble was you could do enough in the engine to hack it to show what was possible, but then to get the investment behind it to get it actually done took a lot longer, and in some cases you run into a brick wall, then you do realize, oh my god, we can do this only if we reinvent the wheel, which is going to take too long. It was sometimes difficult to know when to cut and run. In other cases, Developers said there were several times where they participated in long meetings on how to approach and overcome certain issues, but would wrap up without any deciding on any course of action. That would just happen over and over. Stuff would take a year or two to figure out, because no one really wanted to make a call on it, said an anonymous Anthem developer. The full story on Kotaku. It's a lengthy red field with many similar experiences, but one that documents many unfortunate parts of game development and the storms that developers at BioVare had to weather and overcome to get Anthem out the door. BioVare and E both declined to comment while Cod Ocas story was being researched, but the farmer released a statement after the fact noting that it had decided not to comment because it did not want to be part of something that was attempting to bring specific team members and leaders down as individuals. In that statement, which can be read in full on the BioWare blog, BioWare says that crunch has not been a major topic of feedback in other internal post-mortems and that leadership does everything when can to try and make it healthy and stress-free, but we know there is always room to improve, in that response. BioWare says that it does not see the merit in articles that publicly document issues faced by staff through a long development, and does not think articles that tear down one another are one another's work, are making other industry and craft better. Developer Digital announced today that former Apple X Star Games business manager Mark Hickey is joining the team to let the publisher's lineup of mobile projects as VP of mobile publishing. Hickey brings a deep understanding of the trends and strategies within the mobile sector from more than 15 years of mobile games industry experience and working on hundreds of App Store launches, according to Devolver. It's an interesting move for Devolver, the company, whose games mainly come out on PC and console, has released games such as a re i g n s a n d d o w n w e l l o and mobile.
but the boutique published has had less of a focus on the dominant business model on mobile platforms, free-to-play. Asked if the metrics driven mass market pleasing free-to-play model might clash with Devolver's boutique publisher vibe. He is said that Devolver is not as focused on implementing new business models as it is on bringing the same unique style and flavor of Devolver games to mobile. Our job is to help developers be successful, and if free-to-play is the way to do that on mobile, then that's what we will do, he said. But we are not going to sell our soul in the process. There are ways to do free-to-play that are both fair and respectful of customers that also allow developers to realize their creative vision. So what led to this new attention to the mobile market? Developer has already been pretty successful on mobile with games like Dunwell, Space Plane and Rings. He keep explained. People keep reaching out with mobile game project ideas. I had been working with Devolver for years as part of the App Store team and I always liked Devolver games on mobile and on PC. So we got to talking and said, hey, what if Devolver pays more attention to mobile and hired someone who's got some experience with this space? He kept at it that in order to increase chances for our success in the mobile game market, it's best for game developer that are is competitive. The mobile game space is crowded and there are deeply entrenched companies and studios within many established genres now. Be it cash and wall, hyper cash and wall, MOB, battle royale, RPG, 4X, etc. So my advice would be that unless you have a serious or just a chore spent on development and user acquisition, those are spaces to stay away from. Instead, I think innovating on gameplay first and fostering a community around your project through the myriad social channels available out there are the ways to generate interest in your game and catch the attention of the platforms. Developers with something interesting to pitch are encouraged to reach out here. Update. Edited for clarity. Grinding Gear Games. Path of the Exile is free to play success story. Having grown from modest beginnings in 2013 to entertainment use of active players every month, and at the HGAME Developers Conference in San Francisco next month, you will get to see how the dev team keeps it going strong. As part of the BD 2000 and 19 design track of talks grinding gears Chris Wilsonville present, designing Path of Exile to be played forever. An inside look at how Path was built from the ground up with sustainable development in mind. Expect to learn how to structure releases in two seasons with predictable release dates on the scope, how to reuse content for rapid development, how to use procedural generation to keep content from feeling stale, how to employ multiple overlapping axes of randomness for additional replayability, how to design deep gameplay systems that keep players engaged, and most importantly how to grow while you are still MMUNITY over a long period of time. You will not want to miss this and many other insightful talks lined up for the show this year. So bookmark them in THEGTC 2000 and 19 session scheduler. There you can begin to lay out your GD 2019, which takes place March 18th through the 10th to adapt the newly renovated Moscone Center in San Francisco. Bring your team to GD. Register a group of 10 or more and save 10% in conference passes. Learn M-O-R-A-H-E-R-A. For more details on NGDC 2000, and 19 visit the show's official website, or subscribe to regular updates via Facebook, Twitter, or God Art Sutra and DD as sibling organizations, under parent company and former. Disclaimer. This article is not an introduction to photogrammetry.
but rather a case study of scanning the patch of treasury and the challenges that came with. These are my personal process and tools that I wanted to share with you. If you are interested in diving in depth into the topic of photogrammetry, then I would recommend you check out one of my previous articles here. During my trip to Jordan, I reached out to Princess Sumaya University for a technology to organize a visit and give my experience in scanning archaeological sites in Lebanon. I was asked to give a presentation on the topic. While well, I can easily give an old presentation that students have probably not seen before, and it would work out fine. 